Hey guys and welcome to a, another video on my channel. Now as you've seen from the past couple of videos we're pretty much hammering the money making methods and AFK money making methods. This video is no different and we're going to hit a, another AFK money making for this video. Now these methods have really spiked due to necromancy and the demand from necromancy PVM more than anything. And we're going to be going over some of the food types which are really heavy AFKs which you can do when you've got other stuff planned. You want to watch videos, you want to chill, you want to relax. You don't want to do something too intensive on the game. So items which will be very beneficial is going to be urns, fishing urns in particular, because we're going to have a look. That's a couple of fishing spots, which are massive, massive, like AFK time and profit. So fishing urns is a bonus. If you've got forms of perfect plus or fishing jujus, that will be very beneficial. A crystal fishing rod and also the shark outfit for the bonuses will be very nice as well. So the food we're going to actually go and hunt and try and find as well if you have a fishing cape that could also be beneficial but i'm not going to bother we're going to be hunting some blue blubber jellyfish and also some sailfish now an item which is also beneficial as well as the grace of the elves if you have a premier artifact and you've not used it for the day the 50 percent chance of acting as a side of a porter will just mean you're not paying as much in porter charges which we always want to do to reduce the costs overhead now you've got a few methods to get here now you can use your max portal if you can to go to the deep sea fishing hub which is where we're going now i'm gonna go as if i don't have that option so teleport to our dodge where you're gonna go to manor farm and you're going to go north west towards the fishing guild and then we are looking for the teleport to the fishing hub guma or guma it will take us to the fishing hub and here we are that is a bit dark to say the least so just for the benefit of this video i will whack on midday there we go that's a bit better Right, so basically the fishing hub is one big area for you to fish, multiple types of fish. So just for the purposes, I'm going to take it, uh, take the grace of the elves off. So the blue blubber jellyfish is one of the things we're looking for now. Now these have massively spiked because of necromancy. Because they have the ability to heal you without affecting adrenaline, they've gone massively, massively up in price. And you can see we just picked two up there and each of those catches were 10.5k. And not only that, if you wanted to cook them as well, you would also turn them to around 13k, so even more profit as well. Now, not only this will be white AFK, you just need to keep an eye on them as well, because the jellyfish will turn from blue to green. We don't really want green, all we want is the blue ones, because they are the best ones possible. Now, dotted throughout the deep sea fishing hub are these bank boats. Depends on if you want to be lazy or not. If you want to be lazy and have the hard AFK life, use your Grace of the Elves and your Premier Artifact. If you're not too bothered about going to bank, use the bank box and that's also an option as well. Now, in terms of profit, this is going to be about 3 mil profit per hour. It's going to be roughly about 175,000 fishing XP per hour, but that will be with urns and the outfit. Those are very important for it as well. If you've also got the ability to use the deep sea fishing aura, use that because it will give you even more XP as well. For the price of Vizwax, it is worth extending it to make sure it's for two hours if you're looking to play for two hours. But again, remember the aura is overrun whenever you log off. If you log off and you don't log back into tomorrow, your aura remaining time will stay the same. But yeah, 3 mil per hour, again, is not the biggest profit in the economy, but we're looking at AFK money here. Again, the elders would cut in 5 mil, but what you probably would have done bank standing or not really like doing something intensive, you can get some decent XP, especially if you're not maxed yet and you're looking to train. 175k fishing XP per hour, bit of profit on the side. Not too bad at all. And especially if you're looking at loot, buying blue blubber jellyfish yourself, it's a way to get your own. Um, and that can just save on your PVM costs. But yeah, really chill method. All you need to do is just keep an arm way fishing for the blue blubber jellyfish just to make sure it is the correct area anyway. Right, so that is done. Roughly, you're looking to probably catch about 300-ish jellyfish per hour. So the next spot we're going to go and have a look at is the sailfish. So sailfish are in the northeast corner. And they're a little less obvious to catch or spots where to pick the up. The blue blue jellyfish you can tell where is a sailfish or at this spot here. They've done a really good job with the um, deep sea fishing hub as well because the graphics are really nice. And not only that, you can actually see the fish in the water. The sailfish have always for a long time like replaced rocktails as the better fish for food. Um, it doesn't stop you. It doesn't stop costing you adrenaline, which is a shame. But it's allowed the blue blue jellyfish to thrive in terms of a price because of that as well. So in terms of profit per hour now really you want to have the same setup as the blue blubbers you want to make sure you've got the outfit you want to make sure you've got the legendary call of a sea aura fishing urns urn enhancer which i forgot in the bank in terms of xp you're roughly going to be getting the same as blue blubbers 175k per hour 
Now you are going to be making a lot less profit per hour. You'll be making roughly about 1.5 mil and catching 360 selfish per hour, which at this current time, it is better for you to do blue blubbers than it is to do selfish. But I wanted to show selfish as an option as well because there may come a time where their demand will go up, jellyfishes will go down, and they can sort of balance themselves out at the same time. But in terms of XP, you're looking at the same XP, but at the minute, blue blubber jellyfish are the better one out of the two to pick. But that is pretty much the Deep Sea Hub. Um, I'm sure most of you have come here to buy from the merchant only, but they do have access in a minute because of necromancy and because of the boss types to have a very viable AFK method to come and do with fishing if you're not 99, if you're not 120, and make a little bit of money on the side with how AFK it is as well. Like I said before, with woodcutting, you can play with sands on and then it will be able to tell you straight away if you stop fishing. Just need to look at screen, click on it, and make sure that you're doing that as well. So, back to the Max Guild. So, another method I wanted to show you, which isn't quite as AFK as the fishing, was the use of transmutation. Now, I've done a video of this method before, going through all the details, but I just wanted to show you that now it is still profit to actually do this. And it's kind of related to the fish as well, because it is a form of healing. Now, making portents of restoration is going to make you roughly about 8 mil profit per hour. Now, what you're going to need for this is some incandescent energy, which I have in the bank somewhere. There it is. And some rock tails. Now, rock tails are very cheap in a minute, like unbelievably cheap. They are a price of 869 coins each. Now, what you can do with incandescent energy is transform these into a portent of restoration. This one. There we go. Portent of restoration X, which as you can see has a grand exchange price of 28.5k. Now, if I just weave that now, we can go to the Grand Exchange and check for price. So to make one of these, you're going to need 60 incandescent energies. So if we were to price check this now, so it's 60 incandescent energies, which is going to bring us to 20k. And then a Rocktail on top, which is going to take us to 22.9k. Now I've price checked the prices here, and the instant buy is 24k. And the sell is 14.569. Again, margins, we need to check them. It's a flip. That's a 10k flip. But I'm not quite sure I trust that level of margin. Um, so what I'm going to do, there's roughly like 1.2k profit. Um, what I'm going to do is do an invo and I'll see if they sell. So we can always give it a try. I'm always willing to try to see if it works. But again, looking at divination, it does have some viable money makers as well. So if we do 23.999, all and you see that sell. Also, if you watch my Ganodermic video, they did sell. It took about an hour or two, but they all did sell, which is nice. Probably made, I don't know, like 500k from doing them. And they were profits as well. So yeah. But anyway, back to the fishing and food video. So I'm going to leave them in said sell. They will sell eventually. But again, it's another option if you're looking for another method. Didn't want to make a whole video on the restoration stuff because, again, it's such a niche thing. I'm kind of hit or miss if it does work anyway. But in terms of this video, Blue Blubber Jellyfish, 3 mil an hour, AFK, 175k XP, fishing XP per hour, really good. Sailfish at the minute aren't thriving, but it's another method for you to know about. It may work better if there's some form of boss which needs higher tier, higher healing food. Important restorations, if you don't make your own. A, there's a chance for you to have a decent flip there, which is 10k value. Or if you want to do it and AFK it for a bit, that's a chance to make a K profit per portent of restoration if you wanted to do that as well. But especially with a portent of restoration, that is why you should also check your margins. Um, because here we've found something which you could flip for 9k if you're patient enough and you want to try it enough as well. So those portents of restorations did actually sell for the price we went in for as well, just a GP under 24k. So yeah, definite profit. But yeah, that is pretty much the end of this video. Another FK video. Not as much profit as the previous ones. But again, I wanted to show you something different to the previous ones. It is still profit. Two of the methods are heavily FK. And that portent one, if prices shifted and behaved how? And behaved in a slightly different way, you could make absolute bang from it. But I wanted to show you that just to make sure. Divination stuff, especially like portents and other things, are worth looking into if you've got the time. Because... I'm pretty sure out of all the portents you can make or out of all the transfigurations or mutations or whatever it's called you can do with them, one or two of them will be an unhidden moneymaker, which no one really does because who does that with divination? So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, please leave me a like, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.